channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my personal tips and tricks in achieving a natural look. And this is not gonna be the natural makeup look, this is literally the natural look. And I say that because I'm just basically enhancing the features that I have. And I'm gonna be talking about the three things that I usually go for in order to enhance my look. And turning from this to this. There's really not much of a difference. I'm basically just amping it up a little bit, I guess. So if you want to learn more about how I did this, then keep on watching. So first things first, let's talk about hair. So I'm not just talking about hair on the top of your head, but hair on your brows and your lashes. If you're done with your short hair, you want to grow your hair back overnight, then you can just put on clip-in hair extensions. And that's what I've been doing. I've had short hair for about two years now, and I'm kind of over it, guys. I've been trying to grow my hair out, but it's just not growing fast enough, so my solution is clip-in hair extensions. So thanks to besthairstore.com, they provided me with the clip-in hair extensions that I'm going to be wearing in this video. And they are real hair, and they're so close to my natural color, it's insane. I am so happy and excited about this product. So go ahead and check out the website. I will link the specific product that I picked um, in the description box so you can go ahead and check if it's still 80 something dollars and you can get get your own um, hair extensions. So I did get two bundles because I have short hair and I have a lot of layers. So in order for me to kind of achieve the natural long hair, natural long hair look, I have to use like 80% of the two bundles. So I'll show you guys how it looks like. If around a little bit because I know I'm talking about hair and then we're supposed to move on to brows and then lashes but of course you know you wake up you have your hair on already so you go and wash your face so once I've done my skincare routine I go in with my primers and even though I'm not applying makeup on I still use this Michael Todd's mattifying gel corrector and it looks like this you can get it for about 30 something dollars I will link it below for you guys if you're interested I feature this in previous videos before and I've been just using this this non-stop what it does is it mattifies your face but it also corrects um, discoloration so what I do is after I've done my skincare routine like I literally just kind of slap this all over my skin and this lasts me a long time so even if it's 30 something dollars it will last you for months and I just apply this all over my skin because I don't want my face to get too oily throughout the day um, when I'm not wearing makeup, you know? So I just kind of massage it all over my skin like this. And now that that's on there, I go in with my pore filler. Right now, I've just been enjoying the NYX pore filler. It's available in the drugstore. It does its job and I like it. So I focus this mainly on the inner part of my face because that's where I usually have pores and the reason why I do this because naturally when we wake up in the morning and we do our cleansing routine and if you're using a toner that minimizes your pores that's amazing but if you want to keep your pores close throughout the day especially if it's like hot humid then a primer that fills in those pores for you would really really help then I go in with a CC cream so I haven't been wearing foundation at all for the past couple of months and I love it. Um, it lets your skin breathe more and this in particular has SPF 50 plus. So even if I'm not wearing makeup or I'm not like trying to look presentable or anything, I still put this on my skin because it has SPF on it. So especially I'm since I'm exfoliating with an exfoliant, it's important to really protect your skin from the sun or else you'll just get the discoloration all over again. So I just kind of apply this liberally all over my skin like you would like a moisturizer or like a sunscreen. And I have a demo of this product in my channel. So if you want 
to see me go in depth about this product, then go ahead and click on that video. I will link it below. But I just slather this all over my skin like this. And then next I go in with my concealer. So what you wanna do is you just wanna conceal your under eyes just to give your um, face that bright, well-rested look even if you stayed up all night watching YouTube videos. And this is the NYX HD concealer in number four. And what I do is I just tap it on there with a beauty blender. And I kind of get the remaining of pro remaining product from here and tap it on the sides of my nose. <laughs> now if you feel like you still have some dark areas like around here, which is pretty common, and you just want to highlight the middle part of your face, then you can go ahead and take that concealer again, line it down your nose, on your forehead, side of your cheeks, and then your chin. So you're not really using a lot of product. It may look like a lot because it's pretty high coverage, but you're really not. It feels like you have nothing on your skin, honestly. So now that you're done with that, I set my under eyes so it doesn't crease right over here uh, with this e.l.f. HD setting powder. And this allows your um, concealer to stay on the entire day. And it also has like reflective properties which makes you look more awake, even more awake. So you can't really go wrong with this thing, like you just kind of like put it all over your under eyes. I go in with my Laura Geller uh, powder. This is the Balance and Brighten Foundation in Medium and um, this just gives me a more natural finish whereas the Rimmel Stay Matte gives me a really matte finish, which kind of kind of counteracts with the whole natural look. So just kind of just all over your face, nothing too crazy. That is it for the face in terms of like the base. Let's move on to our um, brows and lashes. So now for brows, I've been using this product called Wonder Brow, and it looks like this and absolutely love this product. I shared this on my Twitter, my Snapchat, and I talked to you guys a little bit about it. I'm not sponsored by them, but I've just been using them so much lately. I finally learned how to use it properly, and this lasts for two to three days. It doesn't, it's smudge proof, transfer proof, it's waterproof as well, and I love it. And once you've applied that, just use the spoolie again which comes with the product, by the way, and brush out your hair. And then get a flat concealer brush and just clean up the edges. Now that we've basically taken care of our brows, we're gonna go ahead and move on to our lashes. So nothing too crazy, I'm literally just lining my lash line. So it just looks like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes again and apply some mascara.
Don't worry about it being too perfect because you're gonna be applying false lashes on. And don't worry about like the liner being perfect either because we're gonna be using a lash adhesive that dries black, which is this one. This is from Kiss. And the pair of lashes I'm gonna be using are super fabulous. I absolutely love it. I apply it like this, opposite side. So it doesn't run through like the, the hairs of the lashes and then that's the one that sticks to your real lashes and pulls out when you take them off so just apply it like this but now that you feel like it's it's pretty tacky you're gonna go ahead and apply it onto your lashes so i just use this like thing here applicator but you can use a tweezer also i'm gonna have to get close onto the mirror here so i could see properly and what you want to do is you want to stick it right in the middle So let that stick for a second. Now that that's um, on there, try and adjust the sides. Don't worry if you mess this up the first time because it took me a long time to get this down. I've been wearing lashes for years. Most important part is the inner part of your lashes because that's the one that usually sticks out. So take more time in pressing that on, maybe count 10 seconds. Press that on there. And then let that sit for a second before you continue kind of playing around with it. Now that you've got your lashes on, you're gonna go ahead and curl them. So let me just grab my eyelash curler here. You're gonna just curl your real lashes with the fake ones. So once you've curled your lashes, just kind of like flip them down a little bit, make them look a little less um, set. So you can definitely skip contouring your eyes sometimes. If I feel like it, I'm gonna go ahead and contour, but today I'm gonna go as natural as possible. I'm gonna be using the Bahama Mama and this like fluffy um, brush here and use just the side, like just the side of this and contour and bronze at the same time. So that's all I'm doing. And of course, under the neck. That's all I'm doing for bronzing and then I'm gonna go ahead and put on some blush. For a natural look, I just go ahead and use this Physicians Formula blush, and this is in uh, natural. This is the Mineral Wear line. Looks like this. And I tap it on here. And I kind of put a little bit on my nose to give me that really nice natural flush. And for some highlight, I'm gonna go ahead and get a stippling brush and use this Becca highlighter in opal. If it would just open for me. There you go, and it just looks like this. And then I just apply it all over my cheekbones, my brows, and my nose. And I'm gonna finish off with a finishing spray. This is the NYX Dewy finish, finish Finishing Spray. And last but not least, the lips. So what I usually do is I just put on like a lip balm. I'm so into tinted lip balms now. This is the Alba Botanica Terra Tints and it has SPF 15 in the color Blaze. video guys I hope that this was helpful for you I'm gonna be listing down the products that I used in the description box including the links if there's any available and don't forget to check out besthairstore.com thank you so much for sending me these awesome hair extensions I really am loving them 
And hopefully you have learned something from this video in terms of enhancing your best features and don't be ashamed of how you look. Don't try to change anything, just try to work with whatever you have and be confident in yourself. So thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.